8.4, um, last section, sort of the last section in chapter 8. This is on interpreting circle graphs. Some fairly straightforward stuff, but it also ties in uh, calculating percent of a number uh, to some degree, actually to a lot degree. So we're going to review that concept as well in here. So first of all, let's take a peek at this uh, beautiful circle graph. It's very wonderful, very vibrant, lots of nice colors. And uh, Anyways, so when you look at a, a circle graph, all, as far as I know anyways, all circle graphs, when you add up their percents, you know, we got 50, 25, 12, whatever drama, like it, it will always add up to, all the sections or sectors will always add up to, always, 100%. Okay. Now with that in mind, if comedy is 50, action is 25, romance is 12, then how much is drama? Mm. What do you think? Think about it. I'll give you four seconds. Okay, I think that's four. So how many percent is drama? What percent is drama? Oh, it's not let me. I need my mouse. Ta-da! 13%. Okay, it's 13%. Because um, if you add that all up, we got 25, we got 50, that makes up 75. We need another 25 here, right? So, uh, yeah, that will do it. Um, so, yeah, we did that. So, I want to look at. Um, okay, so let's say, let's actually stay here for a second. And I'm going to give you a little scenario. So, what if, uh, in order to gather this information, we took a poll. Um, we took we talked to 20 students we talked to 20 students okay. so how many of those students how many of those how many of the students liked comedy how many like comedy i don't even know what this is books or movies i don't know it doesn't matter so how many of them liked comedy this is 50 percent did right so it's 50 percent of 20 that's 10 students right what, what about 25? What's 25% 25 of 20? A lot of you will know this. Okay, what's well half of 50, right? So half of 10 is 5. But now when you get into little numbers like this, you might be like, oh, I, I'm not really sure uh, exactly. And you, it might take you a little bit of time. So here's where you get a, a little bit of the math uh, calculating percent of a number. See if you remember this. So if I want to find out what 12% is, we want to find out 12% of 20. Okay, do you remember how that works? We did go over this. So. Okay, so 12%, we actually convert it to a decimal. So this is 0 0.12 times 20. Okay, is that, does this ring a bell? <laughs> um, so when we multiply those together, we get two point, see if I can do this in my head. Yeah, we get 2.4. So 2.4 individuals liked uh, romance. Okay, it's just percent of a number. Same with the other one. If we're doing drama, this would be 13% uh, of 20. We want to know what 13% of 20 people were. Okay. And uh, when you do the math, you calculate that, that's 0 0.13 times 20. And your answer would be, um, would be 2 point, see if I can do this in my head, <laughs> um, it's 2.6, uh, sorry. Okay, it's 2.6 individuals. So that's how you calculate percent of a number um, when you're doing these. Let's look at some other examples here. Um, this is, these are the ones we just looked at, so let's carry on. I want you to take a peek at this example, and let me just get this all on the same screen here. So, method of transportation to and from school, okay? Uh, so, we've got some basic information here. We've got 20% of people are riding the bike, 15%, sorry, 25% of people are walking, 15% are driving their car. So, how many people or riding the school bus. How are you going to figure that out? We add these all these ones up, right? Because this will always, all together, will always add up to 
Okay, so let's add up what we've got. We've got 20, 25, and 15, 20, 40, that's 60. So what's left over if it should add up to 100? That's right. We should have 40% here. Okay, 40%. Uh, take the school bus. Now, here's, here's, the, uh, here's where we have to do a little number crunching. So if there are 785 students in the school, calculate how many students get to school by the following methods. So bike. So riding our bike, that's 20%, right? So we want to find 20% of the 20% of oops 20% of 785. Okay? So then you convert that. You know what? I need some more space here. I don't want it to be too messy. <clears throat> so as long as you guys are okay with me doing this. One more here. Okay? So 20% of 785. First you convert that 20% to a decimal, so 0 0.20, don't really need the zero there, but times 785. And here's where, you know, I'm, I'm nice to my students and I let them use a calculator sometimes, not always, and you actually don't need to use your calculator um, with these types of questions, but that's a topic for another time. <clears throat> um, so 0 0.2, 2 tenths times um, 785, and that gives us 157 students, okay, that ride their bike. So walking, it says walking 25%, so 25%, it's actually a quicker way to do this, but I want to show you this method. Actually, you know what, I'm just going to use a different color so you don't get uh, too bogged down in, in red here. Let's, let's uh, throw a blue purple, whatever this is. Okay, so we got 25% times 785. Okay, and then we go 0. Point, we convert 25% to decimals. So that becomes 0 and 25 one hundredths. Oh, oops, that's of. <laughs> Broken my concentration here. 0. 0.25 times 785. And you plug that baby into the calculator. Okay, 0. 0.25 times 785, that gives us, um, let me just do that again in case I did it wrong, 0. 0.25 times 785 equals, oh, no, so it gives us kind of a goofy number, 196 and 25 one hundredths of a student. Well, I don't know how that works, but, okay, and then bus, what is bus? Bus is 40%, okay, so we're going to go 40% of 785, same process, right? 0 0.4, 0, don't need the 0 there, that's okay, times 785. And we plug that baby in. And we get 314 students. Okay, and when we uh, add all that stuff up, well, this won't add up to 785 because we still have another one to do. But uh, this is good enough. Okay. Hopefully you get the process here. Um, percent of a number is a fantastic uh, method of calculating that you'll use your whole life. Okay, there you have it.